Hello and welcome to episode 23 of the Flagstaff County Podcast. I'm Kerry Castagna, Communications Coordinator for Flagstaff County. You're listening to the official podcast of Flagstaff County. If you're not already, be sure to keep up with Flagstaff County on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, as well as the Flagstaff County website at flagstaff.ab.ca. All right, so I am joined today by Flagstaff County Economic Development Officer, Christy Jackson. Welcome, Christy. Thanks for having me, Carrie. Christy, you've got lots to talk about. Let's start off with an overview of the Economic Development Department. That sounds great, Carrie. Uh, the Economic Development Department is a team of three, and we're passionate about supporting our local economy and community development across the Flagstaff region. So we focus on regional priorities and tactics to stabilize the population, which include investment attraction, business retention, entrepreneurship, and also dabbling in tourism support for the region. Our strategic priorities are identified in the five-year economic and community development strategic plan, which was approved by Flagstaff County Council in October of 2019. So those are our guiding pillars set by Flagstaff County Council, and they are to focus on business retention and expansion, attraction and retention of citizens, new business startups and investment, as well as being a supportive team member and collaborating across the Flagstaff region. There is a full copy of our five-year economic and community development plan on the Flagstaff County website if anyone is interested and would like to check it out. Thanks for the overview, Christy. It sounds like you have a very broad scope of practice. Definitely. Economic development is a broad and sort of complex discipline, but it's ever-changing and we try to prioritize and, and always tie back to that strategic plan set by council and make sure we're identifying the priorities for the Flagstaff region. Now can you tell us about some specific programs or services that residents or businesses can participate in? Thanks, Carrie. I'll start with one of our most popular and long-running programs, which is the Flagstaff Region Featured Business, a partnership between Flagstaff County and the Community Press, where we present a monthly business profile in print in the Community Press, as well as a county-produced video and story that provides additional marketing support to participating businesses. This program is a monthly feature of a business from the Flagstaff region. And like I said, they're in the community press with their write-up along with a video that's pushed out on social media and YouTube. And the way businesses can participate in this program is by applying every year in November. So in the month of November, every year, we open up applications for the upcoming year and try and fill one spot every month. The uptake of the program has been phenomenal. So we filled all of our vacancies since the program was launched in October 2017. So we do encourage businesses to stay tuned, apply in November, and if there is more than 12 spots or 12 businesses that apply, we do our best to accommodate that by finding collaborations or joint features or working with our partner, the Community Press, to make it work. And so far we have been able to accommodate all businesses that have applied to the program. That sounds great, Christy. It's a program that I'm honored to be a part of. If there are business owners interested in this program, stay tuned for more information in the coming months. Now, Christy, can you tell us about your next program? Absolutely, Carrie. So the next program I'll talk about is Flagstaff Crafted. It is a program that was launched in 2019 by Flagstaff County, and it enhances the exposure of local makers, artisans, retailers, and service providers across the Flagstaff region. Flagstaff Crafted helps entrepreneurs tell their stories, grow their customer base, and connects them with local resources. Supporting these entrepreneurs is very important as they contribute to diversifying and continuously improving our local economy. Flagstaff Crafted is proud to support them as they create jobs, support local community events, and create products for all of us to enjoy around the Flagstaff region and even globally. Of course, membership has its privileges. Christy, what are some of the benefits of joining Flagstaff Crafted? That's a great question, Carrie. 
Upon registering to be Flagstaff Crafted, there are some immediate benefits, one of which is being listed in the Flagstaff Crafted Business Directory, which is a great resource and includes professional high quality photos of your product, service, or business, along with a write-up that will help you tailor and make unique to your business. And once you're in the business directory, you will be included in the collaborative marketing initiatives of Flagstaff Crafted. So in a nutshell, what that means is that our department works to promote Flagstaff Crafted as a whole. So when we're promoting Flagstaff Crafted, we're assisting all businesses that are registered. And right now there's 90 businesses. So by joining together and putting those efforts together, one initiative just has so much more power with that collective impact. And also there's been amazing collaboration opportunities amongst Flagstaff Crafted businesses. So once you're Flagstaff Crafted and listed in the business directory, at your own pace, you can network and dream up unique collaboration opportunities with other businesses and really help take your business along with other Flagstaff region businesses to the next level. So those are the immediate benefits from joining Flagstaff Crafted, but we also have initiatives that happen throughout the year that are equally as exciting and beneficial to participants. One initiative that just wrapped up was our first ever Flagstaff Crafted Food Box. We partnered with 12 local food and egg producers to offer a brunch box in partnership with Little Riley Farms and Alberta Open Farm Days. It was available for pre-order and pickup on August 14th and 15th and featured unique products from Flagstaff Crafted Makers. It was well received and just about all of the boxes sold out. The remaining boxes that didn't sell, we did giveaways for on social media. One, to promote the box, promote the producers, but also to ensure that those products didn't go to waste. So is that an initiative that will continue next year? Right now, um, it's still just a couple of weeks out from wrapping up that project, and we are assessing the success of it with the 12 producers, the sales from the boxes, and we would like community feedback. So if that's something that you are really pleased with or something that you're disappointed that you didn't get an opportunity to purchase a box, or you have thoughts on how we could do that initiative better, we would love to hear from you. And you can contact me directly to share your feedback. My contact information is available on the Flagstaff County website. And we're interested to hear what people think. That's interesting. Flagstaff crafted and food. Do you have any other initiatives coming up throughout the year? We are thrilled to have more egg and food producers as part of Flagstaff Crafted. It is an industry with unlimited opportunity for growth in the Flagstaff region. So we're excited to do more to, to help that industry. Right now, we have a pop-up marketplace in the Killam Wild Rose Co-op where Flagstaff Crafted participants can retail their products at no cost. And it's basically a trial into retail opportunity for Flagstaff Crafted participants. That partnership came to be because Wild Rose Co-op approached Flagstaff County and wanted to support small business, support their community, and work with Flagstaff Crafted participants because they knew of the high quality, unique local products that were available by looking at the business directory and staying up to date on that program. So this collaboration with Wild Rose Co-op is just one example of the unique collaborations and opportunities that come up through Flagstaff Crafted and through collective impact and collective marketing efforts. And it's something that we're really excited about. Now, the marketplace sounds like a win-win situation for local businesses. How has it been going so far? It's definitely been going well. Uh, we've had three different Flagstaff Crafted participants retail there so far. Uh, the feedback from all of them has been great. They've done very well with sales. And some of them have even sold out of their products on certain days. On top of all this, you have a gift guide. That's right, Carrie. We also do create the Flagstaff Crafted gift guide. We try and create two gift guides a year, one in the fall and winter, one in the spring and summer, and we invite Flagstaff Crafted participants to submit an application for specific products, services, or concepts that they would like featured in the gift guide. We're in the very early stages of planning the fall and winter gift guide, but an application will be posted soon where Flagstaff Crafted participants can apply. The gift guide is created in-house and it is available digitally. We've heard demand from the community that they would like to see a tangible copy. So that's also something that we're exploring in the upcoming features. 
So far, we've done two gift guides, and they are available on the Flagstaff Crafted website. And when did you say the next gift guide will be out? It will be out in early November, so just in time for the holiday shopping season. Perfect. So so another great program. Is there anything else that you think people might be interested in or you'd like them to know more about Flagstaff Crafted? That covers all the initiatives for now, but one thing I'd like to highlight about Flagstaff Crafted is that this really started out as a pilot idea back in 2019 where we were seeing an increase in handmade and artisan goods in the Flagstaff region and it's really expanded across handmade artisan food agriculture service providers and entertainment and we're just really excited to see where this program goes and encourage businesses of any category to reach out to our department or check out the Flagstaff Crafted website and experience the benefits of becoming Flagstaff Crafted. Thanks, Christy, for all the details on Flagstaff Crafted. That website, again, is flagstaffcrafted.ca. Now, Christy, should we move on to yet another program? Yeah, Carrie, I'll sort of go to the other end of the business life cycle for our next program. So Flagstaff Crafted was all about emerging entrepreneurs and supporting existing small business. But we also recognize that there's a need to support small business or businesses in the Flagstaff region as they near, I guess, the end of their their life cycle or as their business owners are considering retirement. So we also have the Flagstaff region succession program. So Flagstaff County has partnered with Grant Thornton to offer free one-on-one support to Flagstaff region businesses that are succession planning. Participants will receive an initial consultation with Grant Thornton to discuss their unique circumstances, determine next steps and considerations most relevant to their business and succession. I want to stress that um, these one-on-one sessions with Grant Thornton are strictly confidential, so Flagstaff County is not present or involved in that process. We understand that this is a very sensitive and personal situation for businesses. So Flagstaff County will connect businesses with Grant Thornton and then allow them to proceed through their meetings and sessions with Grant Thornton at their own pace. And how many spots do you have available? We had 15 spots available for 2021 on a first come first serve basis. And we have about eight left. So spots did fill fast in the first part of the year. And if you're a Flagstaff region business that is currently contemplating succession planning or even just interested in getting more information in the program, I encourage you to contact me directly and I'd be happy to chat with you more about it. Uh, Christy, is there anything else on succession that you'd like to talk about? Uh, Nothing specific on the program, but again, we do recognize the importance of succession. Um, So if, if you're interested in more information on the importance of business succession or just general interest topics, we do have several professional articles available on our website, as well as participant feedback on their experience through the program. That sounds like a great program. I understand you also offer one-on-one business coaching. Is that right? That's right, Carrie. So the Grant Thornton Partnership focuses on -on one-on-one sessions specifically for business succession, but we have also created a program for one-on-one business strategy and coaching sessions with business strategist Amanda Wagner. Amanda will provide support and resources for any challenge or opportunity, which may include managing time and creating boundaries, helping with strategic direction, creating a value-driven business that serves your life, branding, pricing, or strategic planning. Each one-hour session is valued at $250, but because of funding opportunities that we've had, they are available for only $40 plus GST, And they can all be booked online through our Flagstaff County website. Now, Christy, you also have the Innovation Masterclass, which I understand is more focused on on innovation. Can you talk about that? Definitely, Carrie. The Innovation Masterclass is a comprehensive eight-week program designed to introduce innovative thinking to entrepreneurs of all ages. And they also have an opportunity for collaborative group sessions with other participants. Throughout the program, participants will learn from and interact with global thought and business leaders and gain valuable experience in innovative thinking, idea development, business development, public speaking, and leadership skills. So Christy, how can people get involved if they're interested? 
There are four spots remaining for Flagstaff Region residents today through November 2021. So it's running through continuous intake, which means participants can go through at their own pace and register at any time between now and the end of November. So if individuals are interested or would like more information, they can contact me directly or check it out on the Flagstaff County website where there are links with more information as well as links to register. So Christy, I understand you have one more program to talk about. That's right, Carrie. Let's wrap things up with our Succeeding Together program. So Succeeding Together is a collective impact project aimed at creating a culture across the Flagstaff region through sustained and multifaceted programs that embed several key concepts into our community. The campaign is centered around amplifying stories and building pride in the region through our five key economic pillars, which are agriculture, oil and gas, small business, community development, and our history. So the goal of Succeeding Together is to launch a series of community initiatives that use collective action groups to encourage communities to go local and support local, create a positive and forward-thinking mindset, build regional pride, and create a culture of collaboration. We also want to encourage strong levels of community engagement because Economic and community development is really hard to achieve as a team of three. We really need community support and community engagement to help propel these initiatives to the next level. Now, more specifically, are there any initiatives you've completed or are currently working on? Yeah, there are, Carrie. So we've actually completed one initiative and are in the process of executing one right now. The first initiative that we completed was called The Future is Flagstaff. And what that was, was a community engagement session that allowed community leaders aged 15 and older to come together virtually and share their goals, build new connections, and collectively envision a sustainable and resilient future for the Flagstaff region in the year 2040. So everyone started out by having a vision of where they see themselves in 10, 15, 20 years, specifically in the rural Flagstaff region. And it gave participants an opportunity to work together, dream big, and create that vision in a tangible, engaging, and fun form, which was a comic book. So together, we had 15 participants across the Flagstaff region combine their capabilities, time, assets, and ideas to create a futuristic comic book that captures the Flagstaff region in the year 2040. And what this does is it encourages people to dream big, think about the future, and connect across the region to discuss common issues, common opportunities, common goals and challenges, and then decide how we're going to face those and be a resilient and strong community 20 years from now. If people are interested in seeing what this comic looks like, it will be available on the Flagstaff County website very soon. The second Succeeding Together initiative that we're currently working on is the Succeeding Together Apparel. While it might be unexpected to hear that we're selling apparel, The concept is that these clothes are sold so that Flagstaff region residents can display their pride and support the region with all profits from the sales going to support a Flagstaff region charity. So our first stop and our first location where we're retailing the apparel is at the Killam Wild Rose Co-op and we've timed that to coincide with the Flagstaff crafted pop-up market that we talked about earlier. The dates and times when we'll be retailing the apparel will all be advertised on our Flagstaff County website or Facebook. And when you purchase a piece of apparel, profits from the sale will go to purchase a goodbye to hunger bag supporting the Flagstaff Food Bank. Your purchase will help community pride, but it will also ensure that Flagstaff region residents have the ability to feed themselves and their families. And this is one example of how we can all succeed together. Christy, do you have any future plans for selling the apparel? Yeah, Carrie, we're currently working on that right now. So we're exploring having the apparel available online for purchase. And we're also finalizing the future locations in the Flagstaff region where we'll have our pop-up markets with Succeeding Together Apparel, as well as other Flagstaff region charities that we can give back to. So ideally, we would like to work with other retailers in the region to set up a pop-up market and collaborate with them on what charities in the region they would like to support and give back to. 
Well, thank you so much, Christy. Uh, those are some amazing initiatives that you're working on. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Christy. Thanks for having me, Carrie, and congratulations to you on over 750 podcast downloads. So I'm looking forward to doing this with you again in the future. Most definitely. Thank you. All the best. Oh, 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 oh,